Hey everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about Windows Live Movie Maker. One of the most annoying things about it is when you're working with high definition video files. By default it likes to go through a process called preparing the video. Where it runs your CPU wide open at 100% to quote unquote prepare files. Basically what it does is it actually converts the files over to MP4 format. And when it does that it creates up to two processes in on your CPU. And you can see those in Task Manager when they're running. Now, obviously, they're not running right now, but if they were there, you could see them and you could right-click on them and you would see the process priority. It would be running them at below normal priority, so it would take even longer to actually complete. I always used to have to change those to normal, so that way they get done faster. But anyways, um, another thing that the Live Movie Maker would do is... Um, when it prepares the files, as I mentioned, it converts them to MP4 format and it stores those files in your temporary directory. Which, in Windows Vista or later, um, the temporary directory for um, Windows for your u for your user account is your local disk, which you usually see slash user slash your username slash app data slash local slash temp. And it will store these files in that folder, MP MP4 files. And if you're like me who works with big files for time lapsing, those files can take take up up to like a couple of gigs a piece. So you see your hard disk use is just is getting eat up. Even though you delete your original files, you still see a bunch of spade drive space used. And I had to go in and delete those temporary files. So anyways, let me go and show you how to turn that um, feature off to where it prepares your video. Now obviously I would recommend you have a codec package installed such as K-Lite Codec Pack. You can look on my channel and see a tutorial on how to set up Windows Vista Movie Maker in Windows 7 and now it would also work in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. And um, basically in that tutorial, the newest tutorial, you'll see where I install the K-Lite Codec Pack. <clears throat> Anyways, recommend you have the codec package installed. And to turn um, off the feature, you go to this menu here, your file menu, go to options, go to advanced, and normally this will be check marked. You uncheck it and, and click OK. So now Windows Live Movie Maker will, um, when you actually edit videos in Live Movie Maker, it uses the, your, the original files on your computer from your video camera as the source files to create your movie, rather than more or less copying your files into an MP4 format. So now you actually save a lot of time with this. And I found this works very well. I don't have any problems at all. So yeah, if you're using Windows Live Movie Maker, you definitely want to turn off that um, prepare video feature. And of course have a good, a good codec package installed so that way you can use all different formats. And of course if you can find, if you can actually gather the files for Windows Movie Maker off a of Vista computer, I still like this version of Movie Maker version 6 from Windows Vista. This works very well in Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. Anyways, hopefully this helps. Hand the question or comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.